Hey everyone, I'm going to do another fill on a client. I've been having a lot of fun doing some Valentine's nails the last couple days. I was like doing those. So we're going to remove her product, uh, make sure there's no lifting. And I'm using my medium ceramic bit with my e-file. And I'm going to remove all the colors so I can see if there is any lifting. And uh, once we're done that, we'll be using my cuticle bit to go around those cuticles. So of course I'm using my round cuticle bit just to go around those cuticles and get any of the cuticle that may be on her nails that could cause lifting. And I have this at a lower setting when I'm doing this. Okay, so next I'm applying the Canny primer to the nails, just to the natural nail, and now you can see me applying the Candy Base Coat, which will cure for 60 seconds in my combination UV LED light. Now I'm applying the Builder Gel, and I'm just going to fill that in and make sure I have a nice apex and any indents or anything like that. I'll try and get that all filled in nicely, and then we'll flash cure for 5 seconds each one, and then when they're all done, they'll be curing for 60 seconds. Okay, so after I'm done this, I will file and then I will remove the dust. Now I'm applying um, color to the nails. Three of the nails are going to be in this color. It's called Bordeaux. It's a, actually an Amore brand uh, color gel. So I'll put the link below for where you can get that. It's actually quite pigmented too, but I think I'll do two coats even though one's going to pretty much cover it. I just want to deepen that color a little bit. So I'll, I'll care for 30 seconds each one and then it will, um, or pardon me, I will apply that second coat just to deepen it. And that'll care for 30 seconds once I get that second coat on.
Okay, now I'm going to apply one of my new glitter gels. It's the Vetro uh, Rose Gold Leaf, and I really like how it applies. It's kind of almost pasty, and you're definitely only going to need one coat, uh, which is nice. And it's going to cure for 60 seconds once I get it on that whole nail. Okay, so she liked the retro glitter so much, we're gonna do it on the thumb as well. And again, that'll cure for 60 seconds in my light once we're done. Like I said, this was gonna be a Valentine's nail, so we're gonna do a feature nail, and it's gonna be an antique Valentine's nail with some writing, and then like I said, we'll be antiquing it. And uh, so, first of all, I'm gonna be doing one coat of this candy color, and then we'll cure that for 30 seconds, and then I'll be applying a second coat. There's my second coat going on, and it will cure for 30 seconds again. Okay, so now we're gonna be using this stamp with Born Pretty Polish and my stamper, and I'll put all the links for those below, including the stamp. It's a Valentine stamp, and it's with some nice writing with love, as you can see on it, so I'm gonna stamp that nail. And then I'm just gonna grab that candy color I used for the base, and I'm gonna take some of my candy top coat and I'm gonna mix them. I'm wanting to thin this uh, color out because I'm gonna be antiquing this nail. Okay, now that I have it mixed, I'm gonna be applying it over that stamp now that the stamp's dry. And I just kinda of wanna fade that stamp a bit. That's the purpose of this. You could uh, have the color a little uh, deeper and not as much top coat in it, to, but I'm happy with what it's at. And anyways, I'm going to take my Sharpie marker and this is where I'm gonna really antique it. I'm gonna apply it to where I want and then I'm gonna take a brush with some isopropyl alcohol and we're just gonna thin that out into that nail. Uh, it just really gives that nice antique look when you do this. So I'll keep doing it till we're happy with the results. And of course I have to wipe around the skin where I get it a bit. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to take this other stamping plate and I could put the link for that as well. And I we're just wanting that little heart and that's gonna go on the very corner of that nail where we antiqued. And there it is. So now I'm taking my candy mix top coat and we're just gonna go over all the nails. And once we do that, I just have one nail that I have to finish once we get these all top coated. They're gonna cure for 60 seconds again in my lamp once I get them all done.
Okay, now that those cured, I'm taking some Swarovski crystals, I'm taking some resin, and I'm applying that to that nail, and then I'm gonna take my crystal uh, pen, and I'm gonna pick those up and place them. I think she's decided she wants a little bigger one at the top, and then as we go down, she's gonna do three all together, and we're gonna place those on and let them dry. Use my dotting tool to move them around. Now I'm taking a top coat, a thin top coat, and we're just going to go flush up against those crystals and around them, and we'll cure that for 60 seconds. Now I'm taking my isopropyl alcohol just to clean off that sticky inhibition layer of those nails. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.